So you want to learn how to get clients as a lawyer? You've come to the right place. I'm going to share the secrets of how to get clients as a lawyer on this episode of our show. Join me. Hi, I'm Dave Lorenzo, and today I'm going to reveal how to get clients as a lawyer. That's right, all the hocus pocus and the magic of how to get clients as a lawyer will be revealed for you right here today. You know, it's funny, that is probably the search phrase that people who stumble upon my website put into Google most often. Why are people searching for how to get clients as a lawyer? It's because they didn't teach you this in law school. You go to law school and you learn everything there is to know about procedure, you learn about the law, you are tested on how to research and work up a case, you cover logical thinking, you cover everything except for how to get clients as a lawyer. Well, if you're struggling with this, today we're going to talk specifically about what you can do now to grow your law firm. The first thing you need to know if you're looking for how to get clients as a lawyer is you have to embrace the word sales. Now I know you hate the word sales. In fact, the whole concept of selling is foreign to you. It's anathema. Why? Because you didn't go to law school to become a salesman. I was working with a big law firm in South Florida one time and I'm coaching the managing partner of the law firm. And he says to me, listen, we need to do something. We need to get people more engaged in business development. My partners, the senior people in the law firm, they don't know how to develop relationships. What can we do to help them develop more relationships? And I said, let's talk about your compensation. How do you compensate your attorneys currently? He gave me this formula and everything, and it was all about production. It was all about billable hours. People were compensated based on the number of hours they billed. And I said, well, there's your situation right there. You're not compensating people based on how they're growing their books of business. You're not compensating people based on how they're building their relationships with their clients. You're compensating people based on the number of hours they bill. So, of course, they're going to have their noses down and they're going to be focused on just churning out work, but they're not focusing on relationships. And he looked at me, and he scratched his chin, and he said, Dave, I don't want to have a law firm full of salespeople. No, that's exactly what you want. If you're searching for how to get clients as a lawyer, you need to embrace the word sales because sales is solving problems in exchange for money. So I'm going to show you a model, a business model, a formula right now that will demonstrate how you can get clients as a lawyer easily. This is a process, and once you master this process, I don't care if you're a sole practitioner or a huge law firm, if you master this process, you will never have a problem struggling to get clients as a lawyer again. Take a look at this. The first thing you need to do is you need to identify your ideal target client. And the way to do that is simply by going out and talking to your current clients and writing down all the qualities and the characteristics your current clients have. Study the industry your current clients are in. Understand how the economy affects your current client's business and look for the things that keep your current client up at night. That will help you identify ideal clients who look just like your best client. Find problems you can solve for your ideal client. Find out who their competitors are. Find out who their uh, industry comparable businesses are. And you will have identified a group of people who are just like them, just like your ideal client. The next thing you need to do is attract those people through speaking, publishing, networking, through creating content that is engaging and having it distributed to the world. Just like I'm doing now with video, you could be doing the same thing, targeting your ideal client. After you target your ideal client, 
you need to engage them and get them to raise their hand and say, you know what, I like what you're saying, I want to hear more from you. The way I do this is a lot of times when I do a webinar or I do a speaking engagement or I write an article, I will offer the people who are reading the article, attending the webinar, or at my speaking engagement, I'll offer them something for free. For example, right now, if you're watching this video and you'd like a free copy of my book, Client Attraction Secrets for Lawyers, I want you to go to my website, davelorenzo.com, and when the pop-up comes up, I want you just to put your name and email address in there. You will be automatically emailed a free copy of my book, Client Attraction Secrets for Lawyers. You'll get the ebook version of it. Now, what does that do for me? It takes you, someone who looks just like my ideal client, someone who's watched my videos, and I'm making videos based on what my ideal clients want. You watch my video, and you go to my website, and you opt in for my book. You've raised your hand, and you've said, Dave Lorenzo, I want to hear more from you. I want you to do the same thing. Put an opt-in page on your website that offers something for free. Or when you're doing a speaking engagement, offer something for free. Or when you're doing a webinar, offer something for free. The people who ask for that free item are interested in you. They convert from being suspects, people you suspect will be good clients for you. They convert into prospects, okay? That part is marketing. Driving traffic to your business is marketing. The conversion part where they ask for something that's sales. And you're doing nothing like picking up a phone and saying, hello, Mr. Smith. Yeah, you got any problems I can solve? You need a lawyer today? That's what people think of as sales. What I just talked about, making a video and delivering valuable content and then offering something for free in the video as a conversion device, that's sales. Embrace the word sales. All right, so you've identified who your ideal client is, and now you've made an offer of something for free. What happens next? Well, once that person opts in to receive that thing for free, you need to communicate with them frequently. So you subscribe them to your weekly email newsletter. You subscribe them to your monthly print newsletter. That's gonna help you attract clients as a lawyer, this is critically important. Frequency of communication builds trust. Frequency of communication helps to build your credibility. In essence, frequency of communication is building a relationship. So you've identified your ideal client. You've shown them that you have an external orientation. You've shown them that you're interested in them by offering them something for free. They've taken your free engagement device. They've taken your free report. They've taken your free ebook and you've opted them into your weekly newsletter and now you're communicating with them on a weekly basis. What's next? You have some sort of a gateway offering. What is a gateway offering? It's a lower priced way for a client to do business with you. I have my clients who are attorneys create their gateway offering around some sort of an assessment or a review process. Let's say you're a trust and estates attorney and you want to get someone on board as a client. You're communicating with them weekly. At the end of one of your weekly email newsletters, you say, we're offering a special for the month of October. Anyone who's subscribed to this newsletter who calls my office in the month of October and makes an appointment will receive a strategic review of your estate plan. And normally I charge $5,000 for this strategic review. Anyone who makes an appointment in the month of October will receive the strategic review for $1,500. That's right, a $5,000 strategic review. You will receive it for $1,500 in the month of October. That's a gateway offering. Now, why do we offer that? Well, we offer that because these people who are on your list, they're interested in you, they know you, they like you, they trust you. We just gotta get them to invest a little bit of money in your services, we gotta get them to demonstrate that they value your services enough to plunk down some cash. So we create the gateway offering to get them interested, to get them excited, and to get them financially invested in you. After you make the gateway offering, what we wanna do is we want a full-blown engagement. 
So you do the strategic review, you review the five documents, and four of the five need to be redone. You tell them, listen, here are the flaws in these documents. I will redo all five of the documents. The fifth one is okay, but we'll spruce it up a little bit. The other four need to be completely redone. I'll do that for you. My normal price for doing this is $10,000. I'll do it for you for $7,500. That's a longer term engagement or a bigger engagement. Now, in some cases, the gateway engagement will be the first engagement and the client will hire you to do something else immediately after. And that is a bigger, more substantial engagement. You get the idea. You bring people in with an initial engagement that makes them comfortable and then you expand the relationship from there. All right, what happens after the client engages you? Now you've got a real relationship. Now you're having a dialogue, you're communicating with this client on a regular basis, you start to anticipate the client's needs, and when you anticipate the client's needs, you can help him or her solve problems in advance. This is sales, helping people solve problems in return for financial compensation. When people look at how to get clients as a lawyer, they think about placing ads. They think about bus stop benches. They think about cold calling. They think about networking. All of that could be part of it, although I hate the cold calling. I hate the bus stop benches. I love networking. I love speaking engagements. I love publishing. I love creating a system and a process that brings qualified prospects to your doorstep, that's sales and marketing for lawyers. So if you're here thinking about how to get clients as a lawyer, I want you to join me. Go to DaveLorenzo.com. When you see the pop-up come up, I want you to enter your name and email. You'll get a free book from me titled Client Attraction Secrets for Lawyers. Read the book. And then if you want to continue to have a conversation, you can reach out to me and we can continue to talk. This is sales. I love sales. You will get to love sales. We're going to work together to help you grow your business over time using processes just like this. When you think about how to get clients as a lawyer, I want you to think about how to develop relationships. That's what this is all about. My name is Dave Lorenzo. If you like this video, be sure and smash the thumbs up and subscribe. When you subscribe, you'll get notifications and you'll be notified. That's why they call them notifications. You'll be notified when we produce another video. Sometimes we go live and you wanna be there when we go live because there's all kinds of free giveaways when we go live. Join me right back here again next time. Until then, I'm Dave Lorenzo. Here's hoping you make a great living and live a great life.